Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to teach you guys how to make a nose cone for your water rock. Okay, so this is what you will need. You will need a water rocket. In my previous video, I taught you guys how to make this from scratch. So I really do recommend watching that before you watch this video. I will leave the link for that in the description. You will also need a Sharpie. Or you could use like a dark color marker. I'm just using a purple Sharpie. You need some tape. And you need a water bottle. If you use a one liter water bottle to make your water rocket, use that same size. If you use a two liter water bottle, use that same size. So whatever you made your first rocket out of, which is this. So this is the first step. Using your Sharpie, you mark it down here and just mark it right here with your Sharpie. So here you see how there's a slant apart. It ends like right here, like an, another inch down. And then here I already have a mark. So you would mark it all the way around. And then I recommend using a knife if you have it and poke a hole in it and then cut it. But just like that, it should end up like this. And then you have your bottom of the rock, right? You put this on top, measure it out. Okay, it fits pretty well. See? And you see how much tall your rocket is? Then you can take it off. I recommend taking four pieces of tape out already. One, two, three, and four. And then you have your rocket cone. Put it on, and then right here, stick the piece of tape on, and then maybe take this one right here, put some tape on, and just like that. And then again, take the other piece of tape, Take it, put it on, take your last piece of tape that you have, your fourth piece, take it and slip it on. And you see how there's an extra hump right here? Just take one more piece of tape. So actually take five pieces of tape, but there you go. I put your fifth piece on and there you go. You got a nose cone and yeah. If you want to add a piece of tape that goes all the way around, it could help. We could try that right now. It might keep some air out of the nose cone. It might not make really that much of a difference, but go ahead, do it. I'm going to do it right here with you guys. Put it on, and then just wrap it around like that. Doesn't have to be perfect. Mine isn't perfect, but as long as it's close. And got a little gap. If you have a little extra room and you weren't able to cover up, take another piece of tape, cover it up. And just like that, you got a nose cone. Very nice. Here's the science behind adding a nose cone. When you have a nose cone, you see that there's a pointed top, right? So when air goes on and hits the size of the rocket, it would go right up and go in. It would be like this. It would be like this. Having the rocket go up in a straight line. This only works if you're not really adding like a parachute to your rocket. If you want to add a parachute, that's a whole different thing. I will make a video about adding a different type of nose cone which will work for the parachute and another video about how to make and add a parachute for your rocket. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. And remember, these rockets are fueled by brain power.